Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and we are going to start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, if we go recap for last week, we have broken through uh, the 200 moving average and at the moment we are trading above the 200 moving average. Uh, we are looking at a golden cross here within the next few trading sessions and that probably will have a significant effect on the price. Usually prices uh, tend to jump when these two um, moving averages cross. Um, but still, uh, we're going really, really slow uh, to the upside. And um, that probably makes sense because there still isn't that much appetite for oil in the world economy. Um, most countries are in a recession and uh, haven't fully um, recovered from the coronavirus and, and so on. So low demand basically causes this market to basically have, have been stalled for now for several months. Uh, we can see that we were all the way up to $65 before the coronavirus started and we fell all the way down to to $7 uh, within only a span of uh, two months. And since then, we have um, gradually been increasing, and now we're at uh, $43.05. So we'll probably go higher, but uh, we are running into resistance, and this, this chart probably makes more sense if we look at the weekly chart. Because in the weekly chart, we can see that we are still underneath the 50 moving average. And we are struggling to get past uh, this level. Um, and if we look at the Fibonacci retracement levels, we can see that, that we are running into the 61.8 61 point, 61 point uh, Fibonacci retracement. And we have the 50 moving average on, uh, just above. And yes, we are struggling to get past this level. Uh, I would not be surprised if we if we broke down a little bit. And if we were to break down a little bit, uh, we'll probably uh, go down to first retest this retracement, which is at 38.2, then the 50, which is around $25, and then if we go uh, all the way down to 61.8, we go down to $21. Um, to the upside, we'll, if we were to break, we were to go higher. Oops, I, I, one sec. If we were to go higher from here, we'll go uh, all the way up to uh, $49 or $50 area. Uh, that is around this um, resistant area here. Um, if we look at the technical indicators, um, RSI is not our bond, it's not our sold. However, the stochastic is showing that we are, uh, we have crossed the line and a, we are in a downward trajectory. Um, the MACD is, well, technically flat and it has been flat for, for quite a long time now. So, um, if we were to look at probably the one of the most um, bearish indicator uh, of these three, it would be the, uh, the stochastic, uh, which is showing that we'll probably go and retest um, this 200 moving average at the uh, 41.9. And if we go further than that, then it's 41.2. Still, this is a market which, well, nothing really happens at the moment. Um, it is an extremely boring market to um, to trade at this at this moment. So, if we go look at natural gas, which were which there is more action, we can see see that we um, did on Thursday jump significantly higher in this market. So 
this, and that is because we have this basically uh, golden crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average. But this significant move to the upside in the price of, of natural gas is due to the uh, to the heat wave in the United States. So when prices get when the weather gets extremely cold, prices jump. Um, that's why we see every uh, every November to February prices tend to jump in this market. It's very uh, seasonal, and every time there is a heat wave, uh, we also see prices jump. So we see them. We see them. They can jump in the in the summer, and, the, uh, and it can also jump in the winter when it becomes uh, becomes cold. So this is due to the enormous heat wave in the United States, and as long as that is the case, we should basically see this market uh, continue higher. Um, wildfires are are raging through, uh, throughout the United States, and that is basically causing this market to go significantly higher. We are uh, fairly overbought, um, this, uh, so we could see a pullback from here, uh, and stochastic is basically it's. It doesn't show us much at this moment uh, because we're actually on the line. And the MACD is just above the signal line, so it hasn't crossed yet. But because we are overbought, we may see a pullback. Uh, and we're also running into uh, resistance at this point uh, because historically this has been um area of resistance uh if we get a line here uh we can see that in the past we have run into this area here here and we can go all the way back into 2019 and and far beyond that where uh, this specific area of um two dollars seventy has been uh a significant resistance so we could see a pullback from here um, if we were to see a pullback uh, we can look at the Fibonacci retracement levels uh, we could go all the way down to uh, $2.26 and um, after that it is uh, $2.12 uh, before going higher um, at this point, don't expect this market to to uh, to break to the downside. Um, as long as there is a heat wave in the United States and the people need to uh, use natural gas in order to cool their homes and and companies and so on, uh, then this market will continue higher. We can just see what happened only uh, two years ago when we had is uh, very cold weather hitting the United States. Um, yes, so this is a market where you just, at this point, we are quite overextended and pullbacks are buying opportunities. Um, yeah, just um, wait for this market to go lower in order to get better value and then and that is a buying opportunity. So if we look at gold. So yet again, gold was significantly um, volatile, uh, especially on Thursday when markets went all the way to 1970 uh, dollars uh, and broke down within only a few seconds, all the way down to um, 1918. So people probably lost a lot of money uh, betting on gold um, at this on, on Thursday because it was just so volatile, and that was all to the news of the Fed, uh, where basically the Fed said that they're going to continue with their 
with their monetary policy. They are going to technically ignore um, higher price levels or basically inflation levels in order to keep uh, keep the the. In essence, what that means is that they will not uh, increase interest rates, and that also means that they will continue. Uh, flooding the market with cheap dollars, which is, uh, is a very bullish shine uh, for for gold. But at this point, we are in a uh, transcending uh, triangle, uh, which is a sign that we will, at some point, probably... Uh, probably next week have a breakout in this market so we have this support area here which is around 1900 uh, 1900 dollars um, and then we have this um, descending uh, support line here uh, which we have tested three times previously so at this point we are we are going to trade down into this triangle and if i were to bet i would bet that we go to the upside and the reason why we i say that is because underneath we have the 15 moving average we have also the uh, pronouncement of the fed that they are going to continue with their monetary policy which are um, bullish signs for for gold, uh, as long the Fed, as the Fed is willing to pump um, cheap dollars into the to the, to the economy, then this market will go higher. So, um, at this point, I I did a lot of trades in gold last week. Some of them were quite successful. Um, I did sell my positions because. We again ran into resistance here. I was looking for a candlestick that closed above this line, but that did not happen. Um, and that's and because we have a pullback here, I kind of expect us to go and retest this um, support area again before uh, going higher. So what I expect to happen here is uh, that we get um, a Monday. Uh, a candlestick that is going to retest this in 1900. Then we're going to see on Tuesday a candlestick that is going to test this trend line again. And then probably on Wednesday we'll have a candlestick that closes above this uh, this uh, support line here. And if that were the case that we have a uh, candlestick that closes above here, that will be an indication that we will go higher. And if we go higher, we will first test 2000 level, which is a significant uh, resistance. Then we'll go to the uh, highest here of 2071 before going to 2100. If we were to break down from this um, support area uh, of 1900, and break the 50 moving average, we will go much lower. We'll go all the way down to 1800 and then probably all the way down to this 200 moving average, which is at around 1677. I don't expect that to happen. Probably, if we were to go down all the way to 1800, I will be all over this uh, uh, and just technically buying on all of these tips because in the long run as long as the fed and uh, central banks around the world are printing um, currencies this it will only be positive for for uh, for gold so silver uh, similar um, case in silver we have uh, also here uh, a triangle that we're about to to test we can see we put the lines here 
it looks something like this. You can see there. Here. So we are almost within this triangle. Basically, uh, we have we went to significantly the upside, the down, and then we are just zigzagging into this corner. And at some point next week, we'll have a candlestick which is right in this corner. Then we'll have a candlestick that will probably break to the upside. And if it closes uh, above this uh, trend line, that is a bullish shine. If it closes below, that will be a bearish shine. And well, technically, those indicators will and those candlesticks will show whether or not we are going uh, to uh, go higher or go lower. If we were to go higher, we'll go and we test this area of 20, uh, 28 dollars, and then we'll go to the highs of twenty nine dollars before uh, testing thirty dollars, and then beyond that. If we were to break down, we'll go to the. Uh, retest there's the 50 moving average underneath and all the way down here we have the 200 moving average which is not uh, which is which i don't expect us to go down that would be uh, catastrophic at this point uh, we can also look at the fibonacci retracement levels we can see that uh, the 38.2 uh, fibonacci retracement level and the 50 moving average are just at the same area so this should be significant resistant at the 22.7 dollars uh, <clears throat> sorry if we look at the um at the technical indicators we can see that the uh, rsi is not over bottom not over sold so, um, the same goes then the stochastic is basically broken the signal line and we're trending upwards and we can basically see that the MACD is about to change direction and go upwards again. So if we take into consideration that we are you know, trading into this triangle and trading into this triangle and the uh, indicators are, are fairly uh, bullish, I would not be surprised at that we would see um, a candlestick that is within this area here. And then on Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll see a, triangle, a candlestick that breaks this resistant area and closes above. So, yes, I'm fairly uh, bullish on, I would be fairly bullish on silver. So, if we look at copper, copper we can see that we formed a, 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 a bullish flag here and we have basically taking off we had some uh, difficulties uh, last week uh, well we fell quite significantly it was last uh, friday uh, but since then we have basically just grinded uh, higher um, and at this point, we are testing this same resistant area, which has historically been fairly, um, well, been an uh, area of, of significance. So if you look at this area here, we can see that we ran all the way back to in, in 2019, in March in 2019, we tried to break through this area. We didn't. Ma we did not manage that. We broke down uh, all the way back to 2018, 2017. We ran into this um, this area again, and now we're back. We have been testing this three times, and yet we have not been fully successful of breaking through uh, this area. So if we were to see a, a candlestick above this uh, resistant area, then we'll go higher. And this flag, this bullish flag here, is an indication that we most likely will go significantly higher. So if that were is the case, then the next area of resistance is around uh, 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 31, uh, 38. Uh, 
the next after that it will be uh, all the way to the highest here of 3301 so yes and if we were to now to break down from here the 50 moving average has been significant um, support and that will only be um, an opportunity to buy on on the dips um, if we were to break all the way down to the 50 moving average um, i will be a buyer in this market i don't expect this market to go all the way down to 200 moving average because the 50 moving average was such um, uh, significant uh, support in the past so uh, we can look at cocoa and i said last week that it looked like we were trading in uh, uh within this area here well that theory just went out through the window because what i missed in last week's um uh, analysis was that we were basically forming a bullish flag pattern here and uh, last week we basically took off so yes we probably we are uh, fairly overextended at the, at the moment uh, the indicators are very bullish so we may go higher on monday but we are running into uh, resistant in this area so this historically has been an area of resistance we can see here back in 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 march we uh, we had a problem uh, going uh, through this area and also uh, way back in, in 2019 we also had problems going through this area however if we have a close above uh, this um, yeah, above 20 uh, 26 uh, 25 uh, area we will we'll go higher and uh, we will go first to this area of uh, 2690 uh, then we'll go to then we'll go to uh, 2853 and then we'll go to the all-time highs of of uh, 2989 um, pullbacks at this point are buying opportunities i would expect the 200 moving average to to be uh, significant uh, uh, support um yeah so we have clearly broken uh, through um this um, downtrend and we are going higher from here probably not not a good idea to to buy at this point because we are fairly uh, overbought and uh, uh, if you're looking to buy into this market I would wait for this market to fall down, uh, fall a little bit, probably down to the 25, 18, um, and take advantage of that. Because this market clearly um, is changing direction, and this bullish flag here is a very bullish sign that we will go much higher from here. So, I hope you find this um, uh, video. Uh, helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hitting the bell button and uh, giving us a like um, good luck trading and thank you very much